how to create two checkout account for Shopify. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about two checkout and how you're going to be able to access it and set it up with your Shopify account in the easiest and most simplest way. Now to check out is choosing the right payment gateway, which tends, which actually tends to be a challenge for Shopify users, especially when they want to approach customers who use mobile payments and online payments for oncoming other regions. All right. Now Shopify is an incredible e-commerce platform that allows you to manage all of your belongings and stores in the easiest way. And obviously to process payment for that, you do need a good payment provider. And in today's case, we're going to be using to check out. Now to start things off, what you're going to be doing is first of all, you're going to come over to your Shopify and sign up over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our email address and we're going to click on start free trial where we're going to start creating our account. Now, right over here, it's also going to be asking you for your password. So just enter your password and click on create Shopify account. Now, once you've done that, here it says, welcome to Shopify. Where would you like to sell? Now I'm going to go with online store because that is where I want to sell and which best describes you. Let's go with, I'm not selling yet. Now, once you've done all of that, what do you plan to sell products? I buy or make myself and a whole lot more. So I'm going to go with drop shipping and products. I buy or make myself. And once you've done that, it brings you to the plan section. Now, don't worry. You do get a three day free trial, but you can also decide if you want to apply a plan. I'm simply going to skip this and decide later. And once we've done this, it's going to bring us straight over to our Shopify page. Now, once you're over here, you're going to head over to to checkout. Now in to checkout, what we are going to do is we're going to sign up. Okay. So again, we're going to click on sign up for free. Now, once you've done that, you're going to choose which plan you want. So I'm going to go with a two cell plan because it's the most basic plan. And this is what you're going to be needing for your Shopify checkouts. You don't need anything too advanced. So I'm going to add in my name. We're going to add in the email address. Now what you are going to do is simply add in your password. And once you've added in all the details, simply add in a website. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the website URL for my Shopify. So to add that, simply come over here to your Shopify section and add the link. Once that is done, choose your country, confirm that you're not a robot and simply click on get started. Now, once you go ahead and click on get started, what happens from here is it will load you into this section. So what type of products do you want to sell with to check out? Now you can add in any products you want. I'm going to go with other and click on continue. And once you click on continue from here, what you're going to want to do is wait for your account to be properly processed and created. And once your account is fully done and good to go, what you're going to want to do from there is go over to your Shopify. So I'm going to log into my two checkout account. And once this is done, we're going to go over to our Shopify. Okay. Now it says sign in to your account. Now it says if your account has been upgraded from the previous two checkout admin area, please log in using the same username. But if you don't know your username, don't worry, they will send you an email to the email that you signed up with and they're going to let you know what your username or your login email is. So I just got my username. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go over ahead and use my login email over here. And we're going to enter the password that we kept for the account login. And once we have done that, what's going to happen from here is it's going to sign us in to our main dashboard for to checkout. Now, once you are in this section, what you're going to do from here is first of all, go over to your Shopify and in your Shopify, you're going to click on settings. Now, once we click on settings, we're going to go over to payments. And once you have come over to payments, what you're going to want to do in this section is simply click on add a supported payment method. So once you've done that, go to search by provider and here you're going to write in to checkout where it's going to give you to checkout convert plus. So this is exactly what we're going to be opening up and we're going to click on install. Now, once you click on install, 
it should load you in to the relevant areas where we're going to click on install again. And once we have clicked on install again, it's going to say link your to checkout account by adding your merchant code, secret word, order title, and style ID. Now, if you don't know your merchant code or secret code, do not worry. All you're going to want to do is either you can click here and it's going to take you to the place where you can find your merchant code or you can simply access it through the webhooks and API under the integration sections from your dashboard. Now, once you've come to this section, here's your merchant code. So we're going to add our merchant code right here. And then here is your secret word. Okay. So we're simply going to be adding our secret key over here as well. So simply copy that, add it over here. Then they say order title for shopper. Now, obviously you're going to want to make sure that whatever order title you have, you are going to be adding that into your updated settings. Okay. Now it will depend on you on how you want to go ahead and add that. But this field is used to set up the order title on the checkout page. So do make sure to add in the correct secret word for yourself. So here is my secret word. I'm going to simply go ahead and copy all of it. Okay. Here's our secret word. Go ahead and copy. You're going to paste it right here. And then you're going to give it the order title. Let's say shoes. Okay. I'm just going to call it that style ID. Then you can add in your style ID. If you want to your style ID usually can be added by yourself. You know, whatever your ID is, just add it. And once you've done that, you're going to click on update settings. And now that we've clicked on update settings, it's going to match through your merchant code and your secret word. And once that is done, as you can see to check out convert plus has been added to your Shopify right there. And then, and once that is done, obviously you can turn on as many cards that you want for your payment captures like Visa, MasterCard, American Express, JCB, Discover, Diners Club, Bolito, and a whole lot more. And you can also go ahead and test your transaction. So let's say I'm going to click on activate. And once we've activated it, now you can see the test mode is actually on. So you can simply go over to your store and order something for yourself to simply test your transactions out to see if it works. And obviously the tested transactions will be found here in your main to checkout dashboard where you can interact with them. You can change them along whatever you want and work with them in whatever way you want to manage your store. But yeah, that is the simplest way on how you can go ahead and create a two checkout account for Shopify in the easiest and most simplest way. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future, do let me know down in the comments below, and I'm going to be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is going to be all from me. Do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great and amazing day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.